Lee Van Orsdal is the Dean of Libraries at Grand Valley State University and a leader in changing academic libraries from being about books to being about students. This conversation concerns the new Pew Library at Grand Valley and how changes in both culture and place have enriched the campus and student academic experience. The talk of the new library became really serious. So we were ending the first of that work of organizational health, building a healthy culture, mm -hmm. a progressive culture, um, an inclusive culture, because the whole concept of a new library was going to absolutely depend on a healthy culture. We were going to be trying to do many things new. We didn't even know the full extent of it at the time, but um, we needed, particularly the librarians, uh, to get on task with the work they most needed to be done, that, that they most needed to be doing. Um, I think in libraries, I had seen up to that point, librarians having, um, librarians having control over the transactional processes in a building. And it's not that they weren't doing it well, they were doing it well, but when you think about what they're credentialed to do and what only they can do in a library, which is to work closely with faculty on pedagogical goals, mm -hmm. uh, mission of the university. Um, my concept was to strip away and out of those jobs anything that could be done by someone else and try to get them focused on the harder work of influencing the pedagogy on the campus. And so in that three years, we totally restructured librarian jobs, uh, focused, um, as I said, more on pedagogy, um, mm -hmm. assessment, scholarly communications, mm -hmm. uh, they've become quite expert at copyright, and with this that was the beginning of that reorientation, mm -hmm. getting them to, rather than sitting on the bank and waiting for a fish to come by, getting out in the boat with a big net and trying to make a big impact, and that was pretty much the structure of our conversation. Libraries became obsolete with the internet. It's an uninformed, um, in my view, an uninformed opinion. Um, it's, it's cheap and it's easy, but it's not, to me, true. Um, and it's all tangled up. Uh, since we spoke yesterday, I've been thinking about this a lot, and there are a lot of assumptions at work about higher education, and some of those involve regional universities, um, such as Grand Valley. Um, but the demise, first it was going to be MOOCs, and now it's whatever else is coming down the road, online courses. Um, there is no denying the human experience of going to college, if you do it well, the value to you as a human being, it being in community, both intellectually and physically, uh, in spirit, as the, sp the speaker mentioned a while back, uh, there is nothing that an online community can do to emulate that particular human experience. And online learning is great for content, I don't think online learning is good for skill building. I formed this view I have about that um, based on the experience here. I think that, I think, it's hard to break the question down. If you think about how for decades the university brought students into a classroom and gave them information and then told them to go forth and think good thoughts and do these exercises and write these papers and come back and we'll talk about it or you'll get a grade. And so I think the university is focused way too tightly on the classroom experience. We've seen the university break out now. Learning, service learning um, has become a huge thing uh, because I think the university has begun to include in its culture the knowledge that learning can happen outside of a classroom, often does, and in fact the majority of what students learn happens outside the classroom, even if they're just alone with the textbook. They, they spend more hours doing that than they do in class. So what I've come to see is that the library is an extension of the classroom. That if the university wants to equip the classroom carefully and thoughtfully to enrich it, to make it a good experience for the student, why is it not equally important and even essential to equip the spaces they go to continue their learning, especially as this learning now is increasingly about skills and awareness and attitude and understanding and creativity um, that don't that happen in the classroom but in such limited uh, time frames 
that if you think about a student who leaves the classroom and then we say, what, you spend, is it two hours for every hour in class? Perhaps. Whatever the, that rigmarole is. It's actually, it's probably at least that much actually from what we see. Um, because we see students come in here and just hunker down. And the intensity of their work, their, their connectedness to their work, their engagement in it, is astonishing to see. Of all the visitors we've had, it's been probably several thousand now, from overseas and in America, when they come during the semester and you walk through the building, there's an intensity that almost hums, and every visitor we've had has said, I have never seen a library like this. And they're not talking about the chairs and the walls, or even the good views. They're talking about the student engagement, sometimes alone, sometimes together. The problem with libraries is that we're defining them too closely. There used to be in a print world, there was a clear time when going to the library meant accessing resources or maybe sitting at a quiet table, or maybe getting a date. It was a social place to be when you're out of class too, always has been. But that demarcation now is completely gone. You don't have to be here to access our resources. You can be anywhere. So why do you come here? Only a handful come to get the books or the printed material. Some come to get coaching. Most of them simply come to continue the business of learning. They need a place to do that. And what we've tried to do here is just enrich that place to where it literally becomes the learning laboratory of the students. We, we have gotten completely out of the way. Our faces are not even seen very often because we're trying so hard to, to convey this is your learning space. Make it what you need it to be yes. to learn. And we see that happen all day long. This role of library as place in the learning life of a student and all the ways that could be interpreted or embroidered on or supported, that, that came with watching what happened when we opened the building. And now I see it as um, we're not just a library with cool stuff. We are a university space that the library provides and oversees uh, this space where students come to learn. We, we facilitate it by putting services in their way. We facilitate it by making it comfortable, by mm -hmm. reducing barriers. But we also facilitate it by enriching the experience when they're here. And then of course we enrich it with the expertise we have in the building. Sure. Um, so we're almost a base, a baseline out of which operates uh, a pretty complex support system for students learning outside of class. Lee Van Arsdell is the Dean of Libraries at Grand Valley State University in Allendale, Michigan. This conversation was recorded in Pew Library on August 11, 2015.